This is David Hartford from Black Leadership Analysis, and I wanted to talk to you today about the Betsy Ross um, Nike shoe. And supposedly, uh, according to a Wall Street Journal article that doesn't quote um, Nike or Colin Kaepernick, Colin Kaepernick nixed the launching of a line of uh, sneakers that feature the colonial revolutionary war flag so again Colin Kaepernick did not release a statement on it nor did Nike but the story as I've heard it is that the flag uh, was nixed by Colin Kaepernick because it was also used by many white nationalists recently who are trying to take America backwards to its roots so since the white nationalists used it then uh, he didn't want um, Nike to use it. So I watched um, several news sources, um, ABC, Fox News, and CNBC, and I did watch one TMZ article on it. And then I watched the Roller Martin segment on it. So after watching those segments, I think the whole story is just BS. Um, Colin Kaepernick is a spokesman for Nike. So he can't go around nixing product lines, especially if it's something the vice president's actually wanted to have out there. I mean, he's just another employee like anybody else is an employee. Now, he might have some influence, but I don't think he would have stopped a product line they really wanted to launch. So according to TMZ, there's actually shoes <coughs> selling online right now for $2,500. <coughs> like I said, $2,500. So, uh, I wonder if that wasn't already an orchestrated attempt to make maybe a few thousand shoes and uh, then sell them for like two and $3,000 each to make to select people that were close to the company. Um, I don't believe that most of the people buying those sneakers from an urban background would really want a Betsy Ross flag sneaker. Uh, the panels on Roland Martin seem to all like it, but um, they're also like black history professors. I mean, they're still not target audience for uh, Nike. I mean, they're about 40 years old, all those people. So, I mean, I, I doubt they really would have um, uh, bought that shoe or been uh, paying attention close enough to buy those shoes. Um, yeah, I think this was all orchestrated. I think Nike made a limited edition release shoe. Uh, they knew the controversy would anger a lot of people, so people would talk about it online so they get free advertising. And I also think that they knew a lot of these um, more conservative people would want to buy the shoe in protest of social justice warriors and to put the thumb in the eye of Kaepernick. And Kaepernick may have been in on it, and it might not have been in on it. Um, I, I, don't, I mean, the Wall Street Journal is the one that leaked it. So I doubt that Colin Kaepernick will leak it to the Wall Street Journal. Like, how? why would he be the leak to the Wall Street Journal? That doesn't make sense. Uh, Nike exec might have leaked it to the Wall Street Journal. That makes sense. But uh, I think this was all just an orchestrated attempt, and I really want people to be a little bit more... Uh, wary when they hear these stories and uh, kind of see past the BS and really understand that they probably just they probably just wanted to uh, to sell these shoes and man make some money so uh, and of course that's all they want to do is make money but I really don't think they really care that much about Colin Kaepernick to where he can uh, nix product lines as an employee of Nike so